This one's going to be a challenge. It's looking out across vineyards at Schweigen towards Wiesenberg. It's on the Alsace-Lorraine border. So the, the Wiesenberg is in France and Schweigen is in Germany, although there's not a border between them. But over the centuries, this border has changed so many times, they don't bother anymore. But a fabulous area, had a great holiday with friends there in Schweigen and we took some photographs and this was one of them and the church at, at uh, Wissenberg is a bit too central in the uh, picture so I'm going to try to get it over to the right and the only way I think, can think of doing this is to paint these roofs approximately, I can't put them all in and they won't, I'm just going to make suggestions with my half inch flat and then dry it and then go over with the wet the wetting the paper afterwards and hope that uh, the sky stays stays away from something it could be a bit tricky but anyway we'll have a go at it I'll just take that off and I'll put it up the top out of the way I'll zoom out a little bit to there I don't want to see the ironing board oh well, it doesn't matter Right, okay, so using my usual palette of uh, lemon yellow, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red, ultramarine, burnt umber and Payne's grey, I'll start to uh, put in some, some reds, ready greys for roofs. It was mostly, mostly uh, clay tiles in this, this region, but they will be very faintly done so we'll, the church is going to go here somewhere so we'll put that in a darker grey but I don't want that to be too too heavy so we'll put it over here somewhere Something under there, a bit of a tile, a bit of tiling under there. Right now, because I was higher when I took this picture than the buildings, the roof lines as they go away are coming up. So we're going to put one across it only a bit. And put some blue. They're quite indistinct as well, so we'll, we'll just. Put them in, and then I have to keep quiet when I do this. Um, I'm going to go in that one. Oops. It's a very, very lovely town. There's a lovely time here. I'm drinking most of the Vice of Fainter ones behind there, just, just, just blue, just in the. So we just add some bits and pieces here. There's a lot of there are a lot of trees in in here as well. Um, uh, just. Just approximate. Mm. 
I'm going to leave lots of white areas unpainted here because the, when I cover it up, I want the light areas to 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 remain as light areas. I don't want them. I don't. In other words, I don't want to lift the paint out. I want to um, leave the white rather than so put it in afterwards. Just some height, some chimney pots that, that I can't really see them. It's just, well, it can. They're just too far away. And a bit of red, red roofs in there. Okay, I'll give that a dry, so I don't want any of the clean water I put in on the sky to bleed into that area. So uh, I've got the dryer down here. I've moved my camera to just off of my right shoulder. Um, if I see anything that can obviously be changed and improved, I'll, I'll do that. Right, uh, my camera now is in in the way of my my water jar. So if I put it on the other side, oh, right. Now I'm gonna going to leave some of the water away. I hope from from this. The buildings. No, I'll try anyway. So I've got to put a. No, that's just not going to work. I've got nice, nice little water down here. The vineyards are going to be there if I can remember or find a way in the next 10 minutes how I'm going to do that. Right, okay, that's. Right, a bit of uh, raw sienna into the sky. I'm using light red, ultramarine and uh, alizarin for the sky. So I want just a bit of dark. Just to make some sort of interesting sky arrangement. That'll do, that'll do. No need to be too fussy about that. I seem to be managing to keep that off there. So into that, um, I'm going to put a very, very faint bluey background. Uh, a bit of yellow, a bit of blue, a bit of a lizard. Uh, right, okay, 
like that would be the background going up over there. I want it lighter than my roofs, if it works out like that. Ah, the brush is split now. off some of the water I think. I can always go back over those. I'm going to just uh, re-clip the paper. Right. Now under there I'm going to put the harder the harder greeny blues, ultramarine, uh, raw sienna. So we'll just get those in there. Put a bit of red in with the yellow here. It was autumn, very about September, but it was very, very warm. We'd sit outside in the evenings, outside the bars, and have a whale of a time. The French people would would come up to the German side of Schweigen, where we'd be ensconced for the night because it was. 10% cheaper, they'd walk through the vineyards. And that was lovely. And we, we'd all sit around these long benches. Hair, hair, hair mullers, hair mullers. And as one couple or party would get up, the next lot would take their places at the, at the forms and the tables. And it was lovely, we, variety of languages. We really did enjoy ourselves. Heavier greens in here. Uh, a bit more blue, red, yellow, lizard. Oh, the wine from here was just incredible. Nice white burgundy. Oh, it was lovely. You didn't need your packet of Rennies. It was so gentle, but lovely. Very, very cheap. In other words, good value for money. Right, I keep going to the wrong place for me water. Let's move my wire for my hair dryer. Right, I'm going to put in some light yellow now. Yellowy light, there's the lightest. The lightest bits of this, these was going to be heavier than that. So these would be the, the vines catching the late after evening or afternoon sun. And there's this bit of a field coming up here, the vineyard. So yeah. I'll go over, I can go back into this with the uh, shadows and the vines. And 
No, there's just a lot of darker shadow areas in here. That's quite dark, dark area in there. There's a bit of yellow catching the sun there. Just on the tops of some of this. Let's put it in. It shows up, so I'll put it in. All right. <coughs> Clean the brush. Um, I'll dry that off. Mm. Right, now I'm going to wet some paint on here. I'm, um, I'm going to use some paints grey but I want to dry my brush on a towel. I want to, to stipple the, the vineyard or the vines, the, the, like the dark leaves in the shadow. Right, so, okay, yellows and greys. There's a dark, there's a dark around the trees coming down here. And then, sort of converging down that way. Oops, keep from where they should be. Now a lot of dark, massive vine leaves. Just, just a bit of water, just. I'll put in some of the vineyard, the, the, the vines. Is there anyone know how to do this? There's plenty of dark stipple. I've not rehearsed this, I've not done this before, this one. Dark, a lot of trees in here. So, but a uh, you know. Blue, yellow, paints grey. Palette green, really. Right, that, that's quite. Let's put those in there, coming onto that field, going across there. To the uh, the vines, Gruyere pruning, I think. Two going across, uh, and then two of the, for the growth, and two growing for next year's crop, something like that. Anyway, so I'll use uh, I'll use uh, burnt umber and grey, bit of blue. So these these were coming coming up there. Going up into the canopy of these leaves. And we'll just Right, I 
I can't see much more than that really. Right, let's just dry the brush again, just giving some more darkest, darkest stiff wash still. some more, more of this is here and then. Oops. This is not coming down there. I can do with that I think. Let's go back and do a bit more detailing on these these roofs now. Just lift them up a bit. Oh, that's I'm really guessing most of this, this detail. Uh, just trees in there, really. Right. I've lost all the detail in that. That was very tricky to do, so I didn't want it to come down onto the onto the town. But I'm not going to put any more in in there. I'm going to put that in a mount in a second. I just I'll sign it. I'm not sure whether it's good enough to uh, to upload, but we put them in a mount. It seems to add quite a bit to the the looks of these things. All right. Uh, this was very misty going into that, but I, I've sort of lost it. It's bled back into the sky there. But anyway, let's see what we've done, and then we can uh, have a look at the. F we'll have a look at the photograph again. There's the photograph. I'll bring it. I won't zoom. There's the photograph. A little bit closer. Put that up there for a moment. I'll take the clips off, and we'll see what we've done. It does a, it does a quite the church is a bit is a bit insistent over the top. Maybe I'll I'll lift a little bit of that out. Let's just zoom into that a little bit. And you can see a bit more. There's the vineyard. Just done with the stipple and the background, it didn't quite come out. But I'll just see if I can take something out of that church a little bit and maybe out of that dark roof. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye bye.